Yo, Jerome. Still got papers to deliver. Yo, Jerome. Hey, Jerome, Mr. Wallace is gonna do his cruise today and see you out there chipping the paint. With his papers still in the cart. You wanna get paid? At least get closer. Hit a layup. Money! Money! really helped my game. I was good before, but now I'm unstoppable. It's been over five months since I died. Everybody's mostly over it now. Except my little brother, Jerome, who drew my old paper out and trying to play basketball. He hates basketball. He should see me do this. Woo, yeah. Had to come back. No place like Avenue B. And Avenue B without me is like a video game without quarters. It's like rap music without scratches. Oh, yes, Mo Baker's back in the house and kicking the big game. Ah! Just one time, just one time, I'd like to get her. Morning, Grant. Morning, baby. All world, Natalie. Get on your nerve big time. Make you not want to come over with your report card. Only get scared when she looks in the mirror. Jerome? Come on, boy, you're gonna be late. Sit down, baby. Nope, gotta get going. Gotta eat your breakfast. Not hungry. I fixed you a fried tata. Cheese isn't on my diet. Sit. Since Gramps got laid off, he took up cooking. It's kind of hit and miss. Mm. Miss on the fry tata. Traffic stacked up on the 405, so better take the phone for the discount. About 19 minutes before the hour. Benjamin. Come on. Tear you up, boy. Back to some more music. Morning, Mom. I'm right here. You tired? Well, the weekend's almost here, so you can get some rest. Mom's got her first date tomorrow night with the guy none of us have ever met. He's been trying to get her to go out for a long time. I just hope he ain't broke, because those flowers he sent last week were pitiful. Mommy, Juana just went into labor. Okay. Now, can I go to the hospital with you? Are you ready? Can I just go with Gramps and he'll be bring the car right back? Go on, let him take you. Mom, please call school for me, all right? I will. OK. So she got to go. I got to go. I'm the delivery man. Gramps, let's go. Father the baby? I am. Can we do this later? She's in a lot of pain here. Steve Highsmith. 
Is he here? This is Jawanda Carter. He's on his She's way. She's having a baby. He's not coming. He's not coming. Natalie is a media coach. Medical papers? And I'm a delivery yes. man. I called him. He said he was on his way. Calm down. Well, stop saying that. He's coming. Who are you talking to? He's not coming. Doesn't want to show his face today, so he doesn't have to show his face tomorrow. Showing your face can be rough sometimes. Yeah. Steve Hosman is the man. Sweet jumper, monster, first step to jam. Master. Go right or left on you? Play tenacious D. Crash the boards like Barkley. And if it comes off the rim. Who would have thought the chair master and Jawanda? She's real nice and kind of smart, but she ain't no tenderoni, if you know what I mean. And he could have had every tender in the neighborhood. Except Natalie, of course. So, Steve rode with Jawanda for a while. Mm. And then one day, he tongue kissed her. And she got pregnant. Psych. I know how a woman gets pregnant. Steve wanted her to get an abortion, but Joanna said no. She was going to be the best mother ever. Like she was going to win the Olympics or something. Don't sweat it. I got you covered. Best baby ever. Hey, girl, I'm so sorry. What took you so long? Oh, we had to get gas. It hurts. Yeah, it hurt. I know, I know. It I know. Hurt. Just relax. It Just breathe, OK? Did you see Steve? No, I didn't. Did you look? Look, he's not out. Okay? Now catch eyes and concentrate. <laughs> well, I think you're up there if we're gonna do this. I, I got you covered. We'll do this together, right? No problem. Okay. Okay. Best baby okay. ever. I want you to breathe. Okay. All right, come on. <sighs> when I landed in this place, I said, yo, what? I thought I was gonna go straight to heaven. And they told me I had to take a number. Please don't be alarmed. Everybody was Everything kicked way like back. I mean, these folks Please were dead. Dead, dead. Emergency. Excuse me. Do you want to call her having a baby right now? Can you check for me? Window 9. Come on, it'll only take you a second to punch it up. Go to window 9 for information, please. Thank you. Thank you. Please window 9. Everything. <sighs> Okay. So, we're going to do this today? Yeah. Okay, contractions of 55, intervals 12. Uh, dilation on the last visit by the attendant was approximately one station minus two. Okay. Thank you. Okay, let me have a look. I need something strong and tall, with nice hair. A boy, I think. Yeah, a boy. With big hands so he can palm the ball. You're going to feel this a little. Go see if he's out there, man. Do not leave now. Go now! Please, 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 just relax, OK? I'm, I'm sure he's out there. You think so? Yeah, I'm, I'm sure he is. Ow! Ow! OK, OK, just relax. All right? OK, I'm here. Okay. OK. Beep, beep. Yo, look up. Coming through. Hey, you dropped something. You're going to love Avenue B. Closed. What? I'm taking my break. Can you get to that? Now you'll have to get into another line or come back another day. I don't think today is our day. Are you sure? Go home and rest. You're going to be fine, and it's going to be soon. Hey! Wake up, people! Y'all all way too kicked back. By the time they call your number, everybody you ever knew back in the world will be online with you. Do you know what day it is? 
What month? Do you? Do you? Two hundred ninety-six quadrillion seven. Ah, forget it. See, not even close. I hate this place. I'm out of here. Hey, baby, what's your number? We'll return after these messages. We now return to Moe's World. I used to think Jawanda never got mad at anybody. Till the one day I hit her with the water balloon, right after she got a present girl. Big mistake. Mr. Highsmith. Settle down, settle down. Baby's coming soon, she said. What are you doing here? I thought something might have happened Shh. to you this morning. Um, I was looking for you. I mean, I wanted you to be there, but, you know, I understand. Something wants to come up. Everything I ate. I had to make a run for my dad. Oh, yeah? Yeah! Look, the delivery man didn't show, so he needed me to go downtown for him to get uh, some texturizing. Wait, wait, wait. I just talked to your father. Just what? You just gonna stand up here and cold lie to me like this? Well, what are you doing talking to my father? Why are you lying to me? Why don't you get out of my face? Look, why you have to show up here like this? Now, don't bum rush me, girl, because you know I don't Steve, play that. you said you was gonna come. I was gonna have our baby. Hey, it ain't about you and me. No, I told you that a long time ago. So don't go around here trying to make something up, because I don't want you. I never told you I did. Now what? Hey. Look, don't touch me. Don't, play, look, don't play me like that, girl. Look, you're the one who wanted the baby, so now you got it. Now don't bum rush the show or you're not going to get nothing from me. Do you hear me? I don't want nothing from you. Good. Steve. Ouch. Now if you ask me, men and women shouldn't even be on the same planet much less making babies. Jawanda had a funky day. Had all that pain and the baby didn't come. You guys shut up! My four little brothers and sisters was acting stupid all afternoon. And her mother tried to make her call the adoption agency for the 500th time. And for some reason, she couldn't stop crying. So when Natalie invited her to spend the night, she was happy. I mean, Natalie ain't got the sense of a tractor. But Jawanda's desperate. And they did, Steve. And ate everything that's supposed to kill you. It felt a whole lot better. <laughs> Steve didn't want to go home, because he knew he'd have to deal with his father. Mr. Hyacinth is a real man. Owns a local barbershop. Steve! And he did the church choir. Mr. Highsmith, don't play that. We're gonna walk away from this, boy. We talking about a life, a life, man. Look, why, why can't you just stay out of my business? Look, as long as you're in my house, you gonna listen to me. You hear me? Yeah. Well, I ain't in your house no more. Yeah. Right. Now he had to find some place to stay. So Steve went down to the boulevard looking for his brother. Yeah, I got it. Yeah, come on by. Oliver right. Highsmith is a serious gangster. Yo, man, yeah. I just got into a pop, man. He hit me, man. Got the Beamer and the crib, and the VCR and the gold. And even though he hadn't seen Steve in a long time, he gave up the key. Hey, hey, hey take my keys. Just 
told Steve he could hang as long as he wanted to. So Steve kicked it on the leather couch, watching videos and drinking eight ball all night long. I pray the Lord my soul to keep. And if I die, uh, I pray the Lord my soul to take. Amen. Every night, Jerome touched my old pair of glides. His feet ain't ever gonna be that big. Turn off your light. I've got a great story to tell you, Jerome. A great story. Once upon a time, there were two big blue birds named Lucy and Remo. They weren't hunter birds, and they couldn't sing. To be honest about it, they were kind of funny looking. Hey. But they could fly faster and fly farther and go places no other bird could go. So every day they just flew and flew, because that's what big blue birds like to do. And it was fun and safe, because they followed the one important rule. Never fly through the window. Everybody who ever flew through that window never came back. They were sure that if you flew through that window, you would be dead, at least. And then one day, Lucy, who was born with the same old, same old, was kind of crazy anyway, just went ahead and did it. Big mistake. Big mistake. Night. We'll return after these messages. We now return to Moe's World. from all over come to strut their stuff with our funky little court every Saturday of the year. All Rudy Boots gotta sit on the side because the game is wicked. They come to play. And they come to watch. She saved my money for two years. She wants to go to Africa. What are we gonna do over in Africa except look at Africa? I can do that right here. Africa is the motherland. My mother come from Jackson, Mississippi. Ah. We were supposed to go to Vegas. I always wanted to go to Africa. All white folks want to go to Africa. That's why all these here wild animal parks popping up every way to Germany. Y'all think you're going to see Tarzan. Jane, she's over there looking out for gorillas that are trying to give Jesus to some man with a bone in his nose. Yeah. 
Bill's a fly. You gonna try him out at the Saturday, Jack? Uh-uh, no way. You always say you got a little warm up for a day. Jerome, <laughs> put these on my bed, please. Thank you. Welcome. <laughs> oh, pretty dress. You think so? Mm -hmm. Me too. You must be excited about your big date. Girl, I ain't studying this man. I'm just going out with him to get him off my case. Mm-hmm. <laughs> you don't have to do that. I know. I wanted to. Yeah. I painted this kitchen waiting for Mo. But you should save some of that energy. Where's Nat? Working on a calculus. Black babies don't get adopted. Some do. They end up living in foster homes and institutions and stuff. You thinking of putting your baby up for adoption? No. I ain't put my baby in no jail. The Bible says you know. Jawanda, I know what the Bible says. Don't fish if you don't want my opinion. So you think I'm wrong? I'm sorry. I can't say what you want me to say. You're still a baby. You're not ready to raise one. I'm going to be a great mother. I know I am. Maybe. But we won't know that for sure for 20 years at least. And in the meantime, you're going to be carrying that load all by yourself. Steve is not going to help you. Steve, he's just scared, that's all. You should be too. Did you think that having this baby would change him? Did you think you could keep him if you had it? No! No? Steve and me, we had something special in the beginning. We did. He said he loved me. Oh, honey. When was that? During sex? I'm gonna go put my feet up. Look. I know you got a lot of love in you, enough for 10 babies and two or three more Steves. But don't give it all away. Save some for you. This morning, you ain't got no better sense than to go get pregnant. There's a big head monster running these streets with a runny nose and no sense in his head. Oh, come on, Fine, our just a good girl. making all the decisions, so, so why don't you just go home and let me do my work? Now, give me the pill. Give me the ball. Oh. I came down here to tell you that I was going to do whatever it takes to make it right for you and the baby. But I just realized something. You ain't in it. You never was. That's all right, see, because this baby is for me. It's mine, all mine. It was going to be a big night. I had to straighten Steve out, who was still kicking it at his brothers, thinking he's a star, drinking all that hate, bro. 
It was time for me to deal with the JM master. But first, I had to find out just who Mom's mystery man was. You thought you would get away, huh? Now, come on, Ma. What is the deal? This guy live around here? What is he, homeless? I don't like this, Mom. Is this him? A bus driver? Oh. Thank God, shoot. Can't be going out with no bus drivers. What? You have to catch the bus? My mother don't ride no bus. This is not acceptable. You can't ride this thing. People get robbed. They have perverts on the bus. Can't believe this. You look beautiful. Thank you. He is a bus driver. Our place is just five minutes from here. Mom, a bus driver. A bus driver. A Jamaican bus driver. Oh, man. You're, you're an excellent driver. Thank you. You have tremendous peripheral vision. You are very, very good for a nine wheel. Most important, you know. Thanks. Ah, I love this place. Mm, it's very nice. It's weak. To so, chasing down the mongoose. Is that me? <laughs> Cute. Mm. Except maybe I haven't caught her yet. You don't look like you're having a good time. I'm sorry. No, I'm just nervous. It's been a while. But I'll get the hang of it. It sure is nice to have a meal without the kids. You don't want me here? How many is it again? Three. Two. Sixteen and, and nine. You don't want me. I'm sorry, Mom. Don't want to cramp your staff. Try to have a good time. Okay? Am I dead, too? It's your dream. How am I supposed to know? Who's after you? I don't know. Is it the cops? I didn't do nothing. Maybe it's all those guys you humiliate on the court. <laughs> yeah, maybe. Or maybe it's the white man. Get him. Go, girl! Ah! Yeah! Yeah! 
taking care of your responsibilities. You ain't no good and you ain't all that. Beautiful babies. You can't see. Oh. You can't see me. Big deal. He can't see me either. Get over here. Look at this. Hey. It's got toes and eyes and ears. Everything. Fingers. Look, leave me alone. And you can't take over my dreamy little bullet head. You can have anything you want. Come on. You want a son? Yeah, I'll get you a son. Get me out of here. Why are you dog, Juwanda? You don't deserve that. I thought you were a man. Look, forget you. I don't got to be a daddy to be a man. That girl is trying to ruin my future. And if I don't get rid of her now, they're going to cold diss me hard on ESPN. <laughs> Yo, Steve. Yo, Steve. Steve, you can't get out that way. Yo, Steve, you can't get out unless you're cooling. He's losing it here. I gotta get out of here. Yo. Oh, man. Yo. Yo. <laughs> Steve. Yo. Oh, man. Pitiful. Hey! No, Steve. Mr. Help! Help me! Help me! OK, now there's your body. Now calm down. Oh, man, this is too freaky. You shouldn't have been drinking that eight ball. <laughs> Babies need fathers. Nightmare. Maybe because you got one, you don't know how it feels to do without. But I'm here to tell you, it stinks. Are you listening to me? I'm not finished talking to you. Yo! That's a, that's a little extreme, though. Yeah. <laughs> but effective, yeah. Exactly. Okay, I'll circle with it. <laughs> now do I explain? Right. right. <laughs> <laughs> so, why did you make me wait 129 days? You counted? Yes. I'm, so I'm sorry. So, <laughs> who is he? And is he still standing in my way? Oh, I don't know. He is my 12-year-old son, Maurice. My Mo. He died just before I met you. I'm sorry. You see, he was the man in my life. So I wasn't ready to deal with you or anybody for a while. I understand. You know, I tried to protect him. I kept him clear of all those fools running around with guns they shouldn't have and can't control. Kept him going to church, eating right. And he gets killed, chasing a ball into the street. Can you believe that? That boy never stopped going for everything he could get his hands on. I'm sure he made the catch. me yet. But it will. We'll return after these messages. We now return to Moe's World. I told you before, it's not the shoes, it's the man. You 
want to play like me, you got to practice like me. You got to concentrate. Yes! 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 It is the shoes. Yes! Did you see yes. that? Yes! Yes! yes. Money! Yes. All right, all right, all right. Now, you did it. Let's go, let's go, let's go. You got the touch. See if you can do it again, all right? Take your time now. Ready? Jerome, don't lose it here. You ain't Kareem yet. Take your time. Let's go, let's go. <clears throat> again, you have to do it over and over again. I don't bug. Take your time. Bend your knees and follow through. <clears throat> You're just throwing it up there. I could never be a player if you don't concentrate. No. In the hoop. The ball goes in the hoop. <laughs> what are you crying for? Stop crying. You ain't no baby. I was up in basketball. Come on, I'm sorry. <laughs> it's my fault. Uh, you don't have to hoop. You don't have to be like me. Yo! What's wrong? Yo! What's wrong? I can't... Oh. You can't what? I can't shoot. So? I'm not a player. So it's just basketball. I got the glides and everything. It ain't the shoes. I know, but... Stop crying, okay? Mo was a player. Yeah, he might have been. I was a player. Too early to tell, though. And besides, Mo thought he was a lot better than he really was. Cold, dissing me when I ain't even here. I hate basketball. So don't play. I gotta play. Why? I hate delivering papers. So quit. Mo did it. Yeah, well, Mo ain't here now, so who cares? Look, I loved him too, Jerome, but he wasn't perfect. I mean, he used to get on my nerve all the time. I could never get him to shut up. Yeah. Yeah? Did you say yeah? With his little bullet head. Hey, I don't have to take this. He don't want to hit us. Let's go. Did you know he got caught in a chocolate bar once while he was in a supermarket with Mom? Get out of here. And he had money and everything. Mo did that? I said, <laughs> let's go. <clears throat> Jerome is always making up stories. I didn't steal no chocolate bar. You believe me, don't you? Morning, Mom. Morning, Gramps. Chocolate bar. Morning, brother. How you doing this morning? Morning. Good morning, Mrs. Carter. Good morning, Steve. Can I talk to you? Come on. I want to get a good seat. Are you okay? Yeah. I'm sorry about Friday and yesterday. I mean, I was bugging. You don't deserve that. I'm sorry. Me too. You hate me? No. But I don't... I don't love you. I know. But I'm gonna try to love the baby. I mean, I'm gonna really try, but... I'm just so scared. Me too. I just got a feeling that this baby is going to be so special. Real special. You coming in? Nah. It's going to be a boy, you know. 
how you know. I just do. See you. Okay. taking your steroid break this time, eh? Thank you so much. Look at me. Come on, you got to There, man, I want you to breathe. <laughs> okay, this is it. Showtime. It's nothing like being alive. And two blocks from your house, the best chili dogs in the city. Check out that big slide in the park. You'll love that. People are gonna mess things up sometimes. But you're gonna have to keep on stepping. Don't be afraid of anyone or anything. Because you're a king. Don't worry. I've got your back. <sighs> oh, yeah. One thing. Don't forget. Don't chase any balls into the street. Step aside. What? It's time. I'm delivering this baby. You're too weak. Just open the door. Okay. Whoa! Told you, now step aside. When do they got you muscle heads working down here? Okay, just, yeah, back off. I can handle it. All right. <gasps> okay, one more time. Right. One more time. Come on. There you go. Pull uh, All right. Come uh, on. Uh, 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 Thank <laughs> you. 
Can't go out that way. I know. <laughs> for a long time, Rima flew around the giant window looking for Lucy. But she never came back. And eventually, he started to forget about her. She played with everybody else. And one day, Rima was playing tag with Benoit, a power snail. He tried to escape, and he wasn't watching out. And he flew right through the window. Now, was that stupid or what? And Rima knew for sure he was gone forever. Hey, I'll take the first one. Ooh. But wait, what was this? We see the only other creature who had ever flown through the window were alive and happy. Sure, life was a little upside down, but hey, you gotta go with the flow. Just goes to show you that sometimes what scares you the most can turn out to be all right. Come on! Woo. Nobody ever even thought about going back to the other side. And why should they? I'm here. <laughs> Life Goes On will return next week at its regular time. Now, stay tuned for America's Funniest Home Videos, next. <laughs>